Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. Today I'm gonna show you something a little bit different. We're gonna go off the Google Home track. We're gonna talk a little bit about your iPhone and your Android device and saving those pictures that you take. We all know how precious pictures are. So why aren't we all trying to save them immediately? Well, there's a way to set it up that you can save every picture automatically without you having to do any, anything every single time you take a picture. We'll get to that right away. Okay, so I've gone to dropbox.com here on my PC and I'm gonna click the sign up with Google. Now, honestly, you could go ahead on a PC, a Mac, an iPhone, or an Android and start this way, but I just thought I would show you on the PC here what the application looks like. So I'm just in my Chrome web browser and I've logged in with my Google account. It instantly created an account for me. And now what I'm going to do, going to do is show you, you get two gigabytes of space for free. Okay. Now right here, what I'm highlighting is you can invite a friend and each time they sign up, you'll get 500 megabytes of space. Now you can immediately invite your Gmail contacts or you can immediately share on Facebook. So if the two gigs is not enough space, which is pretty likely, then you're going to want to invite a few friends. Now, what I have done is I've actually gone ahead and signed up for the Dropbox Pro account because I don't want to constantly have to be managing my photos to keep them under that two gigabyte size that we just saw with the base account. Now let's move on over to the iPhone and you're going to need the Dropbox application from the Apple iStore and we're just going to head in there. Now again, this is my Dropbox Pro account. You'll have the same settings, just not the same amount of space. So here you can see all of the different pictures and videos that I've uploaded. There's a number of different features here on the application itself, but today we're all we're really interested in is the ability to automate uploads. So right down here in the, in the settings, there's the words camera uploads here. So that's where you want to key in on. You can see mine's already on here. Okay. And so we can head in there and you can play with the different settings here to, depending on what you want for your own account and what you want to use cellular data for depending on your data plan. So if you have camera uploads off, nothing's going to upload automatically. Now I've turned that on. I can also turn on upload videos. Now that upload videos is on, I'm going to also use cellular data and you can choose to use cellular data for videos, but that will mean your videos will actually upload on their own over your cell phone. So the other thing I just enabled right there was I enabled background uploading. What background uploading means is even when you're out of the Dropbox application, if you've taken some pictures or you've taken some videos, you will actually upload in the background while your phone is just sitting to the side of you. So that's a completely automated process that you don't have to think about at all. Once we've set our settings that way, that's it. Let's move over to Android just to show you what that application looks like. So here it's just a simple settings and you can choose whether to upload photos and videos or photos only. You can also choose when to allow uploading to go on. Now because this is a tablet, it doesn't have any of the, any of the cell phone settings where we're worried about our cell carrier or carrier data plans. So that's why they're not showing up here. But if you had an Android phone, that would show up here. Well, I hope that little tutorial there has got you saving all of those important family moments that you're saving on your iPhone or your Android device. Hopefully now you've got every one of your photos backed up to a Google Home, uh, Dropbox, or of course the iOS cloud. If not, what are you doing? Get going. We'll see you next time.